Now in the past a lot of our effort has been on the telecommunications industry or the information and communications technology industry. But now so much of the effort we're doing is on other industries, other parts of the economy that previously perhaps would not have been associated with ICT. And we talk a lot about verticals, vertical industries. The promise of 5G is the verticals. If we can't successfully bring 5G to the verticals, we will have failed. And now we're getting into a stage which is going to be more tangible, more real for the European citizen. The cities that are being designated as the first 5G cities in Europe, they're springing up all over the place. All cities are going through this digital transformation, so 5G is kind of acting like the catalyst, you know, the force behind moving or expediting this initiative that different cities are, are taking in. But their main concerns are to improve the lives of the citizens, and also public safety is another big concern. Now, in terms of public safety, there are different verticals that, you know, that can benefit from 5G. And uh, one of them is, for example, uh, roadside assistance for pedestrians, for so people riding the bike, or the people driving the car. For example, there are sometimes blind corners. It can raise an alarm for the car. There's somebody on the bicycle track, be careful. And similarly, they can raise an alarm on the bicycle. So that's how the 5G and the use cases that they can really, you know, help the citizens improve their lives and reduce accidents and all. One of the uh, performance indicators that uh, 5G is trying to optimize is delay. So basically reducing the latency between different moving elements, for example a car or in this case uh, some robots, and the server providing the service. One example of this could be a car that when you press the brake, it sends an indication to all the surrounding cars. And this must be done in a very short latency in order to avoid any crash. That is what is called ultra-reliable low latency communication. We selected one use case on the lane merge. So we have, we foresee sort of a, a road with many, many cars and you have one car that you want to enter into this lane. So then through communication, you can then open up between two selected cars and then this new car can then enter and continue forward. When the disaster happens, the, the command center and the firemen in the field, they have to have the bandwidth available. So the 5G will enable us to provide a network slice, which basically represents a dedicated path through the network, from the command center to the end user, which is the fireman, for example. When it comes to distribution, people are expecting to have high quality content available on many different devices and new formats such as virtual reality, 360 degrees video, ultra high definitions, they are becoming increasingly popular. Now, today, this type of content is only available over fixed broadband and over satellite. Uh, mobile networks cannot carry such a, a large data traffic. And we hope that 5G will be able to fix that. In content production, so if you imagine a football game, a sports event, or a concert outdoors, there would be a number of cameras, a number of microphones used, and today we need to use a complicated, dedicated technology to bring this content to the studios, also very expensive. What if 5G would enable us to do it much simpler, much easier, if we could connect camera with a studio over a 5G link? Wouldn't it be wonderful?